Hello everybody, this is NASCAR World Series 3 here, and holy cow, we're at the final race of the Angry Birds Service Cup Series. A project that I started in in February, it's going to finally end in December. Eh? And uh, after Christmas in two. So, anyway, so without further ado, let's get on to your starting lineup, and we're going to go over your championship contenders as we're in the process. Now, Emerson Sheets on the pole, even though he's not, he's in the chase, he is not eligible for the championship. Uh, then you got Matt Tuck alongside him. You got, uh, Julio Caesar and you got Caleb Hoffman in the not in the chase who is in the chase but not in not contention J Jonathan King and Trevor Lasky again in Trevor Lasky is not eligible Nathan Norman Ricky James no cars he's not eligible Emma Dev Payne Beasley even though he has two wins he, he's not eligible for the championship Josh Morzak, Daniel Royals, Marty Johnson, Ain Shepard, and Udemir Schumer Jr. Now, he is one of your championship contenders. And what he needs to happen is the entire field to is, is his contenders to wreck. That's the only thing, that's the only way he can win the championship. Then you got uh, Colin McGovern. Mm -hmm. And st starting ahead of him. And he is the points leader coming into this race, actually. And he's trying to become the first driver to not have a win, but still win the championship. However, if he does, he, but however, he can win this race. The only problem is he's starting away in the back. You got a, uh, and then uh, well, Colin McGovern. Then you got D Davy Johnson next to him. Uh, Marty Johnson, Andrew. I hold on, no. Uh, Griffin Lynn, Tristan Allen, Elijah Gordon, Nick Smith, Lisa Gonzalez, and Cameron Gurlington. He is your third and final championship contender. He came he came into the straight second in points, only 11 points behind Colin McGovern. So you got and the run and then and that is, those are your championship contenders. So yeah. So then you got Sir Graden, Willie Brock, Benny Watson, and uh, Jake Ryan, Eric Wonka, and I got that car for Christmas, by the way, and John Andrews rang out the field. So sadly, some of these drivers won't get a win in the fun in this final race. However, however, they will get the best finish as if they can. So here we go. We're ready to race for 27 laps. And I'll talk throughout how this race works. So, here we are. Emerson Sheets is about to lead us down to the green flag here for the final time in the Angry Resource Cup Series. So, how this race works is uh, this. He. He, uh, uh, the, so there will be passes for, for the lead here and there sometimes, sometimes not. However, there will be passes in the back, and, and Udemir, Studemir Jr. is making, is making some of them. And we got a dual battle here. We got, a uh, you got Colt McGovern, and, uh, you got, uh, Cameron Garlington side, they were side by side. However, Colin McGovern stuck on the outside lane, and uh, and it and uh, Cameron Grunkin stuck on the uh, inside, and, which is going to be an advantage for him. But but luckily for the thirteen, he is pretty much clear on Gabriel Wonderley, the other chase driver. Olimir <laughs> Sumer Jr. doing pretty good. And if he makes more, if he, he wants to make more moves, he wants to win this championship. Question is, will it happen? And to be honest, I have no idea what the championship would look like.
uh, like if we use the modern chase format. So the most interesting to so we're gonna pay attention to this most of the race, and uh, Unreal Shimmer Junior is now a month, I believe so, and uh, he might get into tenth as well. And Colin McGovern trying to catch the 10. However, in this position, Kimber Wonderly will still beat uh, Cameron Garlington. Question is, will it happen? And it looks like uh, Colin McGovern is about to fall back to 12th and possibly 13th. And meanwhile, Emerson Sheets still leads the point, leads leads the race. And your points later, um... So... Oh, we got a little contact between uh, Cameron Garlington and, uh, and the five. Colin, Colin McGovern is gonna try and, uh... He, he lost a he lost a position to the ninety three, which will come back for next season. Which will come back for next season, and and he's gonna pass Cameron Garlington, and the thirteen's gonna pass the ten. This is gonna be battle, and it's gonna be what Odemir Shimmer Jr. wants to hear. And I believe. Uh, Anumir Shimmer Jr. is now going to stay in that position for almost a lot, pretty much all, a lot of the race. And, uh, we got, we got some passes here and there, but that's just pretty much about it. Now, the question is, will there be caution? I mean, we're just going to pretty much focus on, uh... On, on the back, pretty much. Hmm. Well, I have to get up early once again to do this. And here's the thing about a home set. It's not, it, it's not bank. It's not, the you know, literally banks like it. It's not like, it's not banked like it is now. It's still banked, but not as banked. So, yeah. So, Ooh. So, Amir Shimmer Jr. is uh, way far ahead of everyone else, and he's going to gain a lot on them. However, I don't think he'll be eligible for the championship. I believe Cole McGovern will still earn a championship. However, it looks like the 10 and he's going to fall back. This, this is what, what uh, Cole McGovern wants. And, um, yep. Yeah. And, um, and there's a Ping Beasley battling with, uh, on the outside. That's something. Yeah, he's really rocking there. Uh, I've been at it for, for last place here for quite a while. So, Ward is a really main, yeah, he's a very huge contender here at this track, so, at, at, in this championship. So, watch out for that. So, the question is, where will Colin McGovern go? Hmm. Oh, if, uh, he, if he, um, doesn't, if, if the 13's not in, in the 2002, Roster. Well, the answer is going to be simple. The answer he'll be in one of the cars that uh that had one of the numbers that hadn't raced in this series yet. So, question is, will the crash ever happen?
Let's see. I need my arm to rest, so keep an eye on your current points leader. As he's about to pass a 93. So he got some battles here and there. Just nothing too entertaining. And the pack is just pretty much just pull away. Which means not as much contention. However, we do have a little bit of a battle. We almost have a little battle with Julius Caesar and, uh, and Emerson Sheets. And Emerson Sheets wants to win for just for the final, just for the final, just because it's the final race, and he wants to end it in in style. Because he, who knows, he might not come back. He might not come back in time for 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 it for it. Oh wait, he might. Oh wait, he actually will. Because if you win at Homestead, your ride will be res. Oh, you will get a ride reserved for you. And that might be too much reserves, but whatever. It's it just at least uh, as long as you need a reason to uh, be in contention, as to be to be in to be in next season and and be reserved. Have a reserve for next season. And uh, there's. Uh, there's the number 13. However good news for Cameron Garlington. If he. If he. If, even if he loses his championship. He will still. Be. He'll still be. And he'll still have his right reserve. Why? Well the answer is simple. He. Well, the answer is very simple. He um he won the Daytona 500 and the Southern 500, so therefore he his ride will be he'll be driving the 10 next season. Oh, uh, there will be flow back here and there, and I just won't stop yawning, boy. And this will be, so now we'll be recording part two. So, so we'll see you guys in part two. Will Gabriel Wanderlei win the champ? Will, will Colin McGovern win, win his first championship? Or will, or will the 10 win, take, take the championship victory? Can or can uh, Udomir Shibir Jr. do anything? Let's find out.